Well, good morning. Um, it's been a particularly wet and windy night. You may be able to hear the wind. The Trekology uh, mattress has stayed up. Might be quite comfortable. The pillow, you can see here, is uh, it's quite good. Occasionally it escapes from under me head, but uh, not bad. The sleeping bag was very warm. That's the uh, Mountain Warehouse one, and I've got the uh, the liner in it as well. Quite nice and toasty, really. Um, I feel tired though because the wind are as battered as to death all night and rain. So. Um, I don't even know whether the air shelter's still up, so I'll we'll have, uh, have to get up and go and look. But it's um, been really windy. Don't go again. Sometimes it goes and you think it's past. Anyway, typical camping weather. So we'll see what goes with the outside and get dressed and see what the damage is. Well, it's extremely windy today. The air shelter's taking a battery. It did stay up all night though, which I was very surprised about. Because I was certain there was going to be carnage when I got out of my tent this morning. Although I did put the big, uh, the big peg, pegs in. But this campsite is turning into a bit of a bog. And um, it is extremely windy. So, so gusty. So, but we've had a good breakfast. Sausage, bacon, eggs, beans, mushrooms and black pudding. So, we're doing good. And of course, to give you a clue as to how hard it rained last night, bear in mind we've only been here one night. This is the ground outside the air shelter. And the bivvy. It is... Saturated. I think we've got the only muddiest part of the field, as usual. Leave that. So it's raining and uh, the sun is out. I can't even see the uh, the screen now because the sun is actually blinding me. But I'm also getting rain on the face, so what a fantastic view though. And the weather changes here about every 30 seconds. One minute you can see the hills, one minute the sun's out, next it's covered in mist and rain. 